10 reasons why Bray Wyatt is awesome, guys. Now, if you talk about Bray Wyatt, you're talking about a mm. backwoods swamp cult leader. But now, he's cult leader with a kid show. Even better. We respect Bray Wyatt. Abs- absolutely, man. And we need to let the community know mm. that we respect this guy. And here's our top 10 why. Kick it off, JC. We're kicking it off right now. And I'm going to kick it off with, he's a good character. He is. And and it's not just the character he has right now. Throughout his entire WWE career, he has always had that one character that was always compelling. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. mean, it's it's one of those things where throughout all the shit booking since 2014, I want to say he got called up, what, 2014? Early 2014? Mm, 2012, I think. Twenty. Okay, so... Because tw- I feuded with the, with the Shield. You're so. right, 2012. He got yeah. called up with the Shield. But since then, he's been one of the few reasons to watch Raw <laughs> consistently. You yeah. can't say that about too many of the WWE superstars nowadays. Because let's face it, most of them are charisma vacuums. Well, they, they, and they don't have a character. Exactly. I mean, I, I mean, at least Bray Wyatt. I mean, yeah, he was buried. He was... Well, but you could go up to somebody on the street and be like, okay, so what's Bray Wyatt? They would ask, what's Bray Wyatt? And you would say to them, oh, he's a cult leader. Yeah. Bam. Easily identifiable. Like, what are you going to say about Ricochet? Bald guy with flips. Exactly. <laughs> no, there's nothing to these guys. But with Bray Wyatt, there is. Yes. You know, and, and it leads us into number two. He's good at mic. I mean, he's good on the mic. He is. He the, is. The guy is a boss on the mic. And uh, it's one of those things where, like, he can put on a compelling mic battle with even a boring-ass motherfucker like, Shit! Freaking rolling! Shh! Yeah, he could. He, he could do it with just about anybody on the Raw roster. It doesn't matter who it is. And he's always had that ability. So hats off to you, Bray, mm-hmm. for actually having charisma and acting ability in the WWE. It's a very rare quality nowadays. Well, here's another rare quality. Mm-hmm. He's a safe wrestler. Number three. <laughs> Number three. Bray is a safe wrestler. How many times can you think of Bray actually injuring somebody? I can think of no times. Because no. he hasn't. Yeah, no, no, no times at all. Mm-hmm. Mad respect, Bray. You know, keep it safe out there. And that Bray's move set just goes to show you that you can get by on good in ring psychology if you understand it. None of these fucking flippity flip indie darling work rate midgets understand psychology nowadays. It is fundamental to having a fucking good wrestling character. You mm-hmm. stupid assholes. Thank God he had a good guy. A good dad, like Erwin R. Scheister, mm-hmm. <laughs> to teach him that shit. Well, and with Bray Wyatt, it, it goes to show that your wrestling style should be a reflection of your character. Absolutely. And the problem is that when I look at a lot of these wrestlers now, they all wrestle the same style because they all have the same character. Absolutely. They're the same fucking person. Right. Indie flippity guy that wrestled on the indies, and now he's happy to be in WWE. Right. right. Bray Wyatt is a cult leader, and he wrestles like, like a fucking backwoods cult leader. Right. It, it just, it makes sense. Everything yeah. about this guy makes sense. He He's one of the few that actually takes time to understand the character that has been given to him. Because let's face it, he wasn't always Bray Wyatt. He at one time was Husky Harris. Mm-hmm. And he had to deal with that fucking bad hand. And then he got this wild character, which was basically a Cape Fear ripoff. Mm-hmm. And he made it into something that is quite possibly one of the best characters in WWE. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah. You know, and here's one of the reasons why he's why he's so compelling. He's good at acting. He is Number a good four. actor, yeah. Mike Rotunda, he taught his kids how to fucking act, and mm-hmm. I love that shit, because both Bo and Bray can act, and they've proven it. I, I, I think they're both star-quality wrestlers, and I hope that they have long careers in WWE. I think I think they will. Yeah. And that's, that, that's actually one of the few things I could say about a wrestler is that I hope they have a long career in WWE. Absolutely. Ricochet, Johnny Gargano, Finn Balor. Well, their, their move style is completely reckless and, and yeah. it's injury prone. Yeah. I wish these fucking assholes would realize that. It's one of the reasons I why uh, I, <laughs> it's one, it's one of the reasons why these guys don't last. I mean, seriously, like, when's the last time you heard about fucking Chris Saban being a top star? Mm-hmm. He's one of those He's one of those flippity flip guys from the earlier generation that amounted to jack shit. Okay? And ev- like TNA was pushing Chris Saban to be the top fucking flippity flip guy at one time. And what did he amount to? Nothing. 
So that tells me that Johnny Gargano, 10 years from now, he's going to be nothing. Because he doesn't, let's face it, he doesn't even have the charisma of that guy. <laughs> no, Chris Saban makes, Johnny Gargano makes Chris Saban look like Hulk Hogan. Seriously. I, fuck. Yeah. It's, fuck. It, it just goes to show you how these guys and their move style I'm, I'm, that's why I'm drawing upon previous X Division type comparisons. Cause that's what I instantly compare most of NXT's roster to is the X Division. Mm -hmm. That's what they are. They're X Division wrestlers. AJ Styles. Yeah. That's what I think of. No, AJ Styles will be in the Hall of Fame eventually. No, he will be, but that type of like, he, that style. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. No, I totally get you. All right. So, uh, uh, what are we on? Number, number five. You can turn shit into gold. Yeah. It's it's a rare quality nowadays, and we're so glad that somebody like Bray has the ability to do it. I I heard so much bullshit online about the bad writing is a reason why WWE sucks. No. Let's face it. There has been bad writing in every single organization on the face of this planet. And what has always been the standpoint for wrestlers making bad writing work? They're good fucking actors. They understand their characters. None of these fucking flippity flip indie work rate jobbers understand that. They don't understand in ring psychology. They don't understand out of the ring psychology. They don't understand how to develop that at all. And that's the reason why you have a rarity like Bray Wyatt who actually does. And I'm, I mean, he's right up there with Elias, mm -hmm. Alexa Bliss. Yeah. You know, people that could take shit. And turn it into gold. And there's a reason why Vince continually puts them on TV. Makes sense. They, because they can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it should, and not only that, but it shows you how good of a company person you are mm -hmm. when you can take whatever they give to you and make it work. That, to yeah. me, shows true skill as a professional wrestler. Yeah. And that's what the skills that you need to have. Yes. I agree. Um... Number six, this guy has a unique and entertaining entrance. Let's face it, there's no other entrance like his. No. I, he is the first guy that I can think of that got people to drop their Bic lighters and put up their fucking cell phones, you know? You got to admit, I mean, even if you don't like the guy... It's one of those things where when you're at a live show, you can be dozing cool. off and playing on your fucking cell phone, but yeah. then you see all the other cell phones go up in the air and the dark light, and you're just like, okay, yeah, I'm going to put up my cell phone too. I I did it. Okay. Yeah. I did too. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a, not ashamed to admit it, but what, and even his theme song is fucking dope too. It's a freedom. Are you there? It's very, uh, very old school Dorsey. I like it. And, and it, and it fits him perfectly. It does. It's, uh, let's face it. It's one of the few good CFO songs. Is it CFO? Yeah. Okay. One of the few good CFO songs. Oh, yeah. be, be lucky I complimented you, you fucking hacks. Jim Johnston is better than you in his sleep. Even Killer Cross admits it, so fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, number seven. Firefly yeah. Funhouse is the only reason to watch Raw. Yeah, it is. At all. I mean, what, what the fuck else matters on Raw? Now, don't get me wrong. Elias is there. Alexa Bliss is there. No, 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 no. Elias oh, did, did they move him around? See, that's the thing. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. I have not watched Raw and SmackDown in a long time. I, I I can't keep up with the superstar shakeup, so I'm only going off of what I've what I've seen on the internet here and there. So thank you for correcting me, JC. Um, okay, so yeah, I stand by my point then. <laughs> Fire Five Funhouse is the only reason to watch Raw. And enough said. Okay. Case in point. Case in point. Uh, number eight, he has proven to get over as a heel or as a face. Yeah. Uh, for most of his career, he has played a heel, and he's been a very convincing heel, a good psychological Jake Roberts type of heel. Mm -hmm. But with Firefly Funhouse, we're getting to see him spread his wings. Right here, we have a demented Mr. Rogers. I love this character, and I hope that he really takes it to high places. I, let's face it, he's one of the few stars right now that is getting over with vignettes, and this is something that I wish WWE would realize. Uh, number nine, this guy looks like a wrestler. He's a big guy. Yeah. Uh, he... He may not have the stature of a muscle-bound freak, but he's the type of guy that looks like he could fuck people up in a bar fight. He showed a, pi a picture of Bray Wyatt to people on the street. They'd be like, yeah, he looks like a wrestler. Yeah, he's a big guy. Yeah. Got tattoos. He's got a, a different look than everybody else. Got a weird haircut. I, he stands out. He does. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, number 10 on Bray. He was buried by the WWE, yet is still over. 
with a face gimmick. A childhood cult leader, okay? He's got his own kid show. He's got a face so gimmick cool, and is the most over That's fucking so cool, shit on the show. Yeah. That right there is talent. So thank you for joining us for Top 10 Reasons Why Bray Wyatt is Awesome. Peace. Peace.